a dear friend, but an internationally known artist, mm -hmm. Roland Golden. Yeah, Roland. Him. Yeah, I'm sure you all know Roland Golden. Uh, um, born in New Orleans in 1931, but he was really a remarkable and prolific artist who had a great uh, love for New Orleans and the southern landscape, especially in the Delta, the Mississippi Delta. Spent days and weeks just in his car traveling around the countryside, gathering images for his paintings. And he found art in this um, sort of ordinary things, in art and beauty, in a highway sign, on a, you know, in a southern highway, a weed in a ditch, or a crumbling um, share cup shack in the Mississippi Delta, or on a winding road, or on the ships in, in, in the harbor of New Orleans. You know, he was pretty remarkable in, in capturing. In fact, he was one of the first artists I ever wrote about, and he, he taught me a great lesson and how to see the world around me, as artists should be able to do. But he was one of the few that really does that by seeing sort of everything you did, you captured in as a, as a painting, a Roland Gold painting. But when he got angry about issues, he also expressed that through his art, like the demolition of the uh, historic buildings in the Central Business District, a whole series of paintings in the de demolition series. Or Vietnam, the Vietnam War, he did it indirectly through his Civil War series, where you see a, a statue with blood dripping down the arm of the soldier rather than some you know, bu bucolic uh, battlefield scene. And then there was Katrina. You know, he told me in an interview we did for the show at Noma that um, he had planned to retire. He was sort of said everything he wanted to say until Katrina came along. Then he did this magnificent series of paintings that he considered probably the best of his career. And he did that. And, uh, and, so that he, and finally, through that, he gained the recognition he long deserved. You know, He'd been collect collectors all over the country, had shows in, in Russia. Yeah, one of his paintings hangs in the Pushkin Museum. Mm -hmm. But in New Orleans, you know, he was just rolling, you know, an, an artist here with his many, many collect. But then uh, Noma had a, one artist show for him for his Katrina series, then the historic New Orleans collection, then the Ogden Museum, then the Museum of Southern, uh, the, the Mississippi Museum of Art in, in Jackson, Mississippi, then museums in Georgia. So he finally got that recognition. He, he uh, so richly to deserve, and, I, and I, it made him happy in those sort of final years that he was finally recognized for that. And of course, there are also a number of books that either he wrote or were included in. Uh, the first one was the first book was called *The World of Roland Golden*. You see this here uh, by Don Lee Keith, our old friend Don mm -hmm. Lee Keith. And he, Don, in, in that in the text in the introductory essay, described his uh, role in his paintings as sort of an evasive melody, which was I thought was a very nice way to describe his, uh, some of his paintings, especially the, his rural landscapes. Uh, Roland also described his work as sort of abstract realism because he had a lot of abstract real abstract images in his realism. And of course, there was along the banquet. Uh, this is that uh, View Carré series that Edith, Edith Long did for the newspaper. And in 2004, they put them together in a book, uh, Edith Long's columns and then Roland's uh, drawings of French Quarter scenes. And then the book, I, the biography I wrote of Roland in, 19, in 2005. And we had the wonderful luck of coming out in October 2005, a month of, <laughs> just after Katrina, when there was nobody in New Orleans. <laughs> but that was one. Uh, and I really enjoyed doing it because we, we sat for, for days and days talking about his work and his life and so forth. And then um, I also wrote the text for the uh, Katrina, Days of Terror, Months of Anguish. That was the one artist show at the New Orleans Museum of Art. And of course, he did his own biography, his own autobiography called Roland Golden Life, Love, Art in the French Quarter. And more than a biography, it was more of a um, sort of a very long love letter to his wife, Stella. <laughs> and uh, so it was a very touching book. Who has been such a part of his life? Oh, you know, she is a master at uh, business and how to help an artist move forward in the career. In fact, she even gave workshops in the past yeah. on helping artists sell their work and promote their work. And, f and Roland was very fortunate to have her. And then her daughter Lucille, And then too. Lucille has <laughs> Lucille now working with, with uh, Stella. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, the, she, he had a great team working with him. Sure did. <laughs> between Lucille and, and sure Stella. Does. But you know, he's gone now, but he yeah. has left us a tremendous legacy uh, through his art. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, great guy. I loved his autobiography. And Did you I, read it? It, it yeah. was such an intimate look it at was. him and at the French Quarter and at New or of New Orleans mm -hmm. in a certain time period. Mm -hmm. It was I, people who love New Orleans will love that book. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. All absolutely. right, John. Thank you. Thank you.